All right, so let's take a look at where we left off. Um, you know, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way. It's kind of an annoying spot. Uh, so let's go in here and go to our canvas and then our dialog panel. I'm just going to press W up here and hit F to focus. Just turn it on. And what I think is um, just move it here to the center. That way it's not blocking the action. I mean, we could even scale it down. Just sort of press it something like this. Now we'll just leave it in. I just make sure that if you do any other extra coding stuff, it doesn't uh, like, see how it kind of obstructs him? Let's move this up just a little bit and then we'll hide it. That you don't have any real good action going on. And you could also disable the movement script on the main player. So, but here we go. Can you take this letter to the king at the top of the hill? So you move. Now what I did is um, I have two more pieces of art in here, uh, non-playable character art. I have the mushroom king here, which we have to convert. And then I have I made a folder called objects and I have a letter. Now this letter is what we're gonna work on in this video. So let's go ahead and make the UI for the letter. So under the canvas here, we'll create another UI and we'll just do an image this time. And we'll just place this image right next to the heart. And I'm going to select my letter object here in the objects folder. And I'm gonna change it into a, from default to Sprite 2D. And I'm gonna hit apply and that should get rid of the background. And then where it says letter here, I'm gonna change it to letter image. And what this is is just to signify when we talk to her, we're gonna turn on this letter image so let's drag that in there. Bloop. So this kind of just shows like, oh, we've got the letter, you know, like that kind of thing. And then once we talk to the king, the letter image will disappear. So let's turn this off. And um, we'd, let's make it the generic script. Um, and this one, because it's part of the quest system, you're getting a letter. And remember, you don't want to write a script that's just for a letter. You want to create a C-sharp script and just name it like object uh, interaction. And this is going to be a generic script that's just like anytime you get any object, we should be able to swap out the letter image. So let me go ahead and pause the video. And um, I'm going to do the side-by-side -side thing with Writer here and then Unity here. Now, what I want to do is I, I actually opened my dialog manager as well as my object interaction script here, because what I'd like to do is um, kind of copy some code that we've done before. So we know that we have this public game object called dialog panel. We can take this and we can paste it in here and we can just call this letter or no, we'll just call it um, interactable object. So this is a public game object called interactable object. And then what we could do is we can grab these two here and paste over these two methods here. Now we're going to get some errors. But what we want to do is we want to take this interactable object and set active true. And then we're going to delete this. I'm going to hit control L to delete this line. And then I'm going to grab interactable object and I'm going to change this. I'm going to, I'm going to go over what all of this does in a second. And then I want to do show object. And then let's copy this object part. I want to do hide object. Okay. So what, what's going on here? Well, what's happening is we're going to drag in this public object interactable. And that's going to be that letter image. And then we're going to call show object when we um, meet our princess, right? Like we in our, our like quest giver. Now, the thing is, uh, oh, we don't want this either. We don't need this where it says string message. We don't need that because we're not sending a message. Unless you wanted to send a message and it updates that text. Um, you know what? Let's do it. What the heck? Let's say, um, let's grab this 
and we'll do public dialog text. And here, oops, we want that up here, sorry. And then we want to grab this. And we'll do this, and then I'll delete this right here, boom. And then we need using TMP Pro. That's why that, that's given us an error. So what's happening? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to thank, we're going to have her thank the player. Um, she'll, he'll walk in and then, hmm. We could even have it change the image of the person, which would be good for the dialogue manager where um, we have access to, you know what, let's, let's keep it simple because I'm thinking about, that could be another video where we change the text and all that stuff. But I, for now, I just want you guys to um, just kind of step by step, get comfortable with setting things active and inactive. And then when we do the next series, we'll get a little bit more deeper into the dialogue manager, which would be the RPG game. Okay, so um, for now, let's see. Okay, so we walk to our princess. Let's kind of like, let's play through this. So where is our princess? Uh, mushroom enemy, here's love art. We, we can call this, I keep calling it, let's see. Princess mushroom, okay. So we have this uh, dialogue manager, right? So if we look at the quest giver script, let's put this in here too. We have void on trigger enter, dialogue manager dot show dialogue. We have our quest dialogue. And then um, if we look at our dialogue manager, our dialogue manager shows this stuff. So what we can do is um, we have dialogue manager canvas dialogue. We can also do, let's see, what else? Um, can do a quest giver. We'll make a, another public variable and we'll make it of type object interaction. And we'll call this object interaction, but I'm going to make that O lowercase. And what we can say, this is again, all of this stuff kind of becomes practice. We're just sort of practicing here as so we can say, okay, after we show the dialogue, we'll do object interaction. And if you remember, we have um, show object here and we don't want this for now. And we're gonna keep it simple, dot, and it's not gonna show up. And I'm gonna pause for, oh no, it will show up, show object, okay. Um, dot show object and um, we're not going to turn it off here we're going to turn it off maybe when we see the king all right so let's test this oh we can't test it because we have to drag in we have to here's our canvas and let's save this let's grab our princess here you can see she's missing the object interaction script let's grab object interaction drop it on the canvas and if we drag that in there, it'll say canvas object interaction because we have this here. Um, and remember, we need the interactable object, which is this letter. So I could see some of you uh, might need some help if we mess up, mess up that order, but let's check it out. All right, so there's this. I walk up to the princess. Boom, there's our letter. I exit, my letter stays there. Can you take this letter to the king at the top of the hill? Cool, so we're gonna keep moving. And you know what, let's let's do something really quick where um, we'll just make this a little bit longer of a video. So let's go to square here. Let's go to, let's grab uh, this guy, Control D to duplicate. I'm gonna hit E to rotate this and Let's duplicate that. Let's duplicate this.
And I have this Mushroom King here. So I'm going to change that to a Sprite. Let's hit Apply. And then let's drag our Mushroom King here. And let's add a component, which is a Box Collider 2D. And I'm going to make that a trigger. And let's add a couple, uh, let's add the quest giver script. We're going to manipulate probably the quest, this quest giver script again in the next tutorial so that it switches out the image. Um, but uh, for now, um, I don't want to overcomplicate this tutorial because this one's getting a little bit long. But so we have this quest giver script I added to the king. And I have my box collider set as is trigger. And for the dialogue manager, we know what that is. That's this dialogue panel. Uh, is that right? Dialogue manager, dialogue panel. Uh, wait, am I missing something here? Let's add our king in here too. Yeah, quest griver script. And we have mushroom king, dialogue manager. Oh, because it, I'm sorry, I needed the whole panel there. Um, because the canvas has the dialogue manager on there. Sorry. All right. Uh, let's grab our canvas dialogue manager. And then the object that we're interacting with is the also the canvas because that has the object interaction script on it. So, yep, that's right. What I'd like to do now is I'm going to do one small change because right hat right now, if I walk up to this print, this king, let's let's play through it so you can see what's going on. I walk up to the princess. I get the letter. It says, can you take this letter? I exit. I can let's see if I get around this mushroom. I walk up to the king. And the king is huge. And he's like, can you take this letter to the king? But you are the king. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this string to a public string. And it's called quest dialog. Let's make this lowercase here. And I'm going to save this, but I'm going to copy all of this code in here by hitting control X. And I'm going to save that. So what happened is if I go back to my princess, I can say, can you take this letter to the king? I can kind of paste that in there. You can see it's empty here. But if I go to this guy, there's, here's my king, right? And I can delete this and I can say, thank you for the letter. So let's save this. Let's press play. Can you take this letter to the king? Well, yes, I can. Thank you for the letter. And what else I can do is, let's see. I think that's good for now because we, we should create something like a quest manager and all and what's in, what's nice about that quest manager is it'll have a series of like just checks and booleans it'll say for instance like is letter and then we can check throughout like the check the quest and just kind of keeping it simpleness like we're going to be talking about delegates and events and stuff like more advanced programming concepts in the next class but what we can do in here is just kind of have that quest manager and we'll work on that maybe in the next video and i'll check if we got the letter from the princess and if it did and we give it to the king then um maybe we have a doorway or a portal open and we can jump into the portal, you know, but it'll check to see if that's there. And if it's there, then, um, you know, so that way, like we have to talk to the princess. So, so if we jump over the princess. Let's see if I have enough hops to avoid her. So say somebody just purposely, Oh, I got the letter or avoids the princess. Anyway, I think that'd be something cool to learn. We'll focus on that in the next tutorial.